electrical at Caltech, and then we met at Stanford a couple years ago. And when we were studying engineering, um, we saw the number of women start really low around us and then drop off really quickly. So we talked to each other about why we became engineers. And we realized that things, when we were younger, had really inspired a love of tinkering and making in us. So for me, when I was eight years old, I asked my dad for a Barbie. And instead, he gave me a saw. So I would make dolls out of wood. And I really just loved making things. And Bettina had a similar experience with her brother. They would make these elaborate Lego cities. And really, just playing with these toys got us excited about making. And it really got us really confident about our skills and being able to make things. So when we looked at girls' toys today, we didn't see anything that really built up girls' hands-on confidence, their problem-solving skills, and their spatial skills. So then we knew that we had to do something about it, and we decided to make a toy. And that's when we made Ruminate. So now on to the fun stuff. I'll give you a little demo of how Ruminate is made. Um, here. So first you have wall pieces. And with the wall pieces, you can make a lot of different structures. You can make just 90 degree angles. You can also make roofs out of them. You can build balconies. You can build um, yeah. balconies, lofts, backyards. And with the furniture building pieces, we did a lot of prototyping with them. We came up with six unique shapes. And with those six unique shapes, you can make anything you can imagine. You can make staircases. You can make bunk beds. You can make couches. You can use them for structural purposes. OK. So here's an example of using a certain number of pieces. You can make a couch. So here we have a couch, almost. <laughs> and with those same pieces, you can make something entirely different. You have a little desk with a laptop. So we really did a lot of prototyping just to come up with these very unique designs. Because we realized that with girls, at first we had very dedicated pieces to make a bookshelf or a chair or a table. And then they started asking us how to make couches and how to make bunk beds. And we realized we couldn't come up with all the different pieces that they would need to make all the things that they wanted. So eventually, we were able to prototype these modular building pieces. And so you can see here an example of something you make to ruminate. It has an elevator, it has a windmill, it has lights with a light-up fridge and staircases. And with the circuits, we make them so they're intuitively color-coded that girls can easily figure out how to plug them together. And with the motor, you can make merry-go-rounds, or the elevator, or the windmill. There's just so much that you can make with the motor. And it's just so exciting to see girls when they first hook up the motor because they get so excited that they've made something that can move. It's something they've never experienced themselves. And even just putting battery packs in a battery case is new for them. Yeah. So now, so now we've been getting pictures from girls. And we started out with this dollhouse idea. But girls are coming back with so much more. Here we have a little Christmas apartment. This girl made an elevator with a bunk bed. And this girl made a Golden Gate Bridge. Which is, complete, which is something we didn't put up on our website, nothing that was in our instructions. We didn't even know how to make this. And now we're making bridges and showing other people. And this girl here made a doggy mansion, and she used the motor to make a cotton candy maker, which is something that we didn't think of either. But she thought that she wanted to make a cotton candy maker and figured out how to use the motor and the pink felt to make it so that it spins just like a real one. And you can make airplanes, you can make classrooms. There's so much that you can do with Ruminate. So you can find this in the Young Maker section. It's next to the Zazzle tent out there. And we'll take questions. Yeah, you can also come up and try out the toy. <laughs> yeah, boys can play with this. <laughs> Yeah. 
Yeah, so we, Should I ask you so again? she asked, how long did it take yeah. for us to make it from concept to production? And we came up with the basic concept of Ruminate last year in April. We ran through a lot of other prototypes of other toy ideas that didn't really work as well. And the initial prototype was made out of foam core and pop, popsicle sticks, hot glue, just things you can buy in craft stores. And girls really latched onto this idea. So we knew it was something that we could prototype even further. And we did. We launched a wooden prototype at the Bay Area Maker Fair last year and did a Kickstarter. And then after that, we did a lot of redesign just to get to these modular building pieces. And we started manufacturing last year in the fall and got our first units early December to ship out in time for Hanukkah and Christmas. So it was it was pretty quick. <laughs> so we're sold on our website. We're on Amazon. We're on Brookstone.com. And we're in some smaller stores across the country. And we're working on just getting it out there in front of more people. And yeah, we're selling here at our booth. And we're also in the Maker Shed tent. Yeah, so when we were first doing our prototyping, when we did it with wood and plastic, we used laser cutters. And we had Tech Shop in California, which is basically this community machine shop where they have 3D printers, laser cutters, machining tools, and you just pay a monthly membership fee. So we did a lot of prototyping with the laser cutters for the pieces. And eventually, for mass production, you have to do injection molding. So that's how these are made. Yeah, so we filed a patent. Did you say we have a play area? Oh, yeah, and we have a play area at our booth, so you should bring your kids, or you can even come and play yourselves. I mean, we have fun playing with it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so we definitely want to expand the line more. We want to create more specialized kits so we show kids how to make, like we have one on our website where you can make an airplane or we have an amusement park engineer where you make a Ferris wheel and you have like a snack bar with light up circuits. Um, so we're really trying to develop more to it and we also want to have Ruminate grow with the girls so we want to make more advanced electronics, more advanced mechanics, we want to get them programming at some point. So we're definitely, it's in the works. All right, should we just bring it over?